This is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Richard in Gabon, Africa. Our first question from Central Africa. Thanks for the question, Richard. He asked, my team built a well about a month ago. It's 80 meters. At 17 meters, we hit sand with water. And at 27 meters, we hit rock. Ever since the construction of the well, it has pumped sand and killed three pumps. How can we solve this sand problem? It's a great question. And, uh, you know, many of us in the industry have been there where we've had a well that's pumping sand and we need to get a sample of that sand and do a sieve analysis. But first, the questions I need to know, was this a rock well? So you cased off that top 27 meters and we made a, a open rock hole that had, you know, some fractured zones that gave us the water? Or did you try to make a combination where you screened at 17 meters and then ran to 27 and then had an open rock hole the rest of the way? We need to know where the sand's coming from. So if I grab my handy Johnson screen card because it's got a great, you know, sieve analysis detail, you know, granular size explains what slots and gravel pack we should look at. And on the back, it's got this great chart on explaining how we should be logging a borehole and what we're looking for for flow. It's an excellent resource. Um, I would be looking at that and determining how I sized my slots and what I used for a gravel pack. But let's throw that out and say that we just isolated that top 27 meters and we're pumping just from a fractured rock formation somewhere below. How did we seat that casing into the rock? Did we have good competent rock or was it still broken? Do we have a good cement seal at where we've set our casing? and the rest of the annulus up, or do we have a poor seal or no seal at all, and we have fines coming in from that direction? So there's several places that this sand could be coming from. There could be, we could go back in and redevelop this hole and move a lot more of that uh, fine material out. Um, so once we start thinking about those type of you know, scenarios of where the sand's coming from, and again, we need to get a sample of that do a sieve analysis. The major screen manufacturers all will give you recommendations if you send in a, a sample. You can get those technical experts on the line, they're excellent resources, and have a discussion with them. Once we understand where the sand's coming from, we can try to mitigate it. Uh, it may be an option that we have to abandon that hole and start a whole new construction so that we can isolate that out better. I know these aren't the best solutions, but neither is replacing pumps as many times as you have in your first month. So I'm going to say good luck. Get a hold of your screen manufacturers. Look at a sieve analysis. Get a sample of that sand. Start considering how the well was constructed, what your annulus seal looks like, how we seed it into the rock, if we screen that top 17 meter area, and then we can go from there. I'd love to hear some more questions. We are a killer groundwater industry here in the States and we always love to help. And there's many um, people from around the world that love to help. And uh, we got to do as much as we can in Africa. So good luck. Uh, let's find out if you're on the uh, Atlantic coast, your Western coast, or you're closer to the Congo, what part of Gabon are you in? I got many more questions. Let's keep in contact. Thanks, Richard.